This video is sponsored by DB Bulldogs. Don't forget to follow on Instagram and TikTok and keep up to date with their story. Adam McGeady from the Mayville Estate is going to spend Christmas inside prison and he's definitely going to have an interesting conversation with his padmate when he explains that he was jailed for threatening to stab an 11-year-old girl and stealing her e-scooter. This occurred in the Islington area and Adam McGeady, 32 years old, has been sentenced to three years and nine months at Snaresbrook Crown Court on Friday the 9th of December. He pled guilty to robbery due to the fact that he didn't reveal a knife at the time. The incident occurred at quarter past six on the 24th of September 2020. The victim was riding a scooter on Parkfield Street when she was approached by McGeady, who was on a bike. He threatened to stab her before taking the scooter and riding off. Thankfully, the girl wasn't injured and it was caught on CCTV. Police were called and began an urgent search and they used the CCTV in order to locate him. And McGeady was identified and arrested in January 2022. So this took two years for him to actually get arrested for it. So he may have believed that he'd got away, but I don't think that's the case. The detective in charge of the case said, This would have been a terrifying ordeal for any child of any age, but particularly upsetting for somebody so young. McGeady is a dangerous offender and the police are pleased that the investigation resulted in a custodial sentence and they hope that it sends a strong message to anybody who believes this is acceptable behaviour on the streets of Islington. So as they said in the statement, it is good news that this girl wasn't injured but at the same time, what a completely scummy action to participate in and it's probably better off that he is locked up for Christmas. In this next story coming from West Yorkshire, a driver who got behind a wheel after a seven hour drinking session has been jailed after killing one person and seriously injuring another. Daniel Crawshaw, 28, from Barnsley was sentenced to eight and a half years at Leeds Crown Court on the 19th of December. He previously pled guilty to offences that included dangerous driving and causing death by dangerous driving. He will be disqualified for two years after his release. Crawshaw boasted to witnesses on CCTV and showed them his car keys during a night out in the Huddersfield area and he said that he could drink five and drive. He eventually consumed 10 alcoholic drinks before attempting to drive home with a girl called Keedon Egdal. She was 20 years old and a boy called Thomas Boothroyd. He was 28 years old and they were passengers in the BMW. At around 3.15 on the 7th of March 2020, police received a report the car had left the road and collided with a stone wall. This was on the Huddersfield Road near Malton and Keegan suffered fatal injuries in the collision and Thomas suffered serious injuries. A witness said that Crawshaw got out of the car and was approaching them and he was very drunk. He made no mention of the passengers inside his car and when police arrived at the scene he was talking on his phone to a family member and was clearly heavily drunk. Yeah. No, just come and take a seat in our car. Just come and take... No, come on. Have you been driving? Right. Just watch where you're going. The detective in charge of the case, Claire Barron, said this tragic incident was avoidable. Crawshaw chose to drink and drive this night and he was aware that he was over the limit. His arrogance and failure to accept his wrongdoing extended the suffering of Keegan's family. And no sentence can ever reflect the loss that this family is suffering. And for regular viewers of the channel, I covered a story the other day, very similar, where a man had been heavily drinking. He drove home and he killed a 20-year-old girl. This was in the Norwich area, so I believe it's really important to highlight this story and the consequences of your actions, especially over this time of year where a lot more people are drinking. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Keegan, and I really want to hear what people have to say on that story in the comments. So really appreciate you joining me for this update. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news.